We have a Samsung Galaxy S9. So I made a poll not too long ago and you guys said you wanted to see, whoa, McDonald's. Yeah, so I made a poll not too long ago and you guys said you wanted to see more Samsung repairs. I'm not really sure why I've done a bunch, but hey. Anyway, you guys know the drill. We gotta cook this. While we're cooking the iPad, let's answer some Q&A questions. What was the weirdest story you received for someone's phone? I've had a lot of people come to me with stolen phones and working phones and ask me to switch parts from the stolen phone and the working phone. And a lot of the times it's really hard to tell if they're being honest or not. I just kind of try and read their character and then do it if I think they're not lying to me. If they're lying, I usually turn them away. When you aren't fixing stuff, what do you like doing? Watching anime, playing video games, going to the gym? Uh, I love going to the gym, but my province has been locked down for like a year now. So I was kind of out of the picture, but I've been working out at home a little bit. I don't really play video games. I used to a lot. It's just kind of a waste of time now. Uh, I do watch a bit of anime though. Did you forget to put a part and just seal it? I've done that a few times when I first started fixing phones just because I wasn't that good at it. But for the most part, I was fixing phones for my friends. So they didn't really care too much, but definitely put everything back where you found it. It's not a good idea to leave stuff out. While fixing someone's phone, what is the weirdest message text notification that you saw pop up on the screen? There's been a lot of sexual messages that pop up. I kind of just swipe away and try and forget it. That's probably as weird as it gets. Anyway, enough Q&A, let's get back to this repair. Gonna stick our pry tool in get our guitar picks by the way guys if you want to get this kit and fix your own phone the link is in the description so go check out the description i can't break this back glass because i don't have any Bruh. now i have to go pick up some back glass <laughs> not rush samsung repairs otherwise you're gonna end up like me a few moments later and we got the new back glass I got, I got the black one because this frame is black. We can just rip this off now because it's of no use to us. Okay, so we got our back glass off. Now we have to unscrew all these little screws. This is pretty much the only time I ever use the wow stick. It's an electronic screwdriver. Samsung just has way too many screws to do by hand. So it's a lot nicer when you do it with the wow stick. Unscrew. While I do this, we'll continue the Q&A. Gordon Ramsay 2 asks, what was your worst fail at fixing a phone, off or on camera? This is kind of really embarrassing, but when I first started, I actually shorted someone's logic board and it was an honest mistake. It just kind of happened. I don't know how it happened to this day, but it did. Uh, thankfully, they had the phone restored and they were trying to sell it. So all I did for them was I went out and got them a new logic board and replaced it. Jas Karan asks, what is your dream job and why you become a phone repair guru? I became phone repair guru because I really like fixing stuff. I've always been into technology ever since I was a little kid, but my dream job actually was to become an ethical hacker. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically someone who hacks for good. Always wanted to do that. I was always really interested in that, but it just never really happened for me. NadGob73 asks, is there part of the phone that you never had to replace? I don't think I've ever replaced anyone's volume buttons. I think that's the one part of the phone that I've never had to replace. We're just gonna disconnect everything. Remove the SIM card. Unscrew. Remove the logic board. And remove the charging port. Niru Sayan asks, what type of phone do you absolutely hate repairing? I don't like the S5. I don't like the older versions of Samsung. I really hate iPads. They're just way too much work. It's just not a lot of fun. Vanessa asks, how did you get into your profession and why? I actually broke my phone. I was about 16. I had an iPhone 6 and, oh, oh, that was really easy. I was 16. I had an iPhone 6 and it broke and I called a bunch of stores and they were giving me like crazy prices and at 16 I didn't want to pay those prices obviously so um, I just ordered a screen and I ended up fixing my phone. I broke a lot of stuff but it kind of put me on this path. I ended up breaking that phone a few uh, weeks later. I installed the custom Apple logo mod on it and I shorted the board. It was never to be seen again.
Bree asks, what is your favorite part about the job and how do you get glass slivers out? I don't get them out. They kind of just chill there until they want to leave by themselves. I know it sounds really painful, but it's honestly not as bad as you'd think. My favorite part about the job is probably at the moment is making videos, not gonna lie. But before I used to just be uh, seeing customers happy, especially ones that have like important data on their phone, they get really happy, that makes me happy. Aside from that, I genuinely just enjoy fixing stuff. If you fix stuff, you'll understand the satisfaction once you're done and it works is really fulfilling. We're all done with this guy. Now it's time, chill. Now it's time to reinstall everything onto our new refurbished screen. There's pre-installed adhesive on this battery, which is great, but it keeps coming off with the seal. Now we can just slap the battery back in and we'll reinstall the charging port. The headphone jack. Samsung keeps making fun of Apple whenever they change anything and then they copy them, which is one of the things I don't understand. They made fun of the headphone jack and then they took it away. They made fun of the no charger and then they did the same thing. Liana asks, what was your first mobile phone? My first mobile phone was a Samsung Galaxy S4. It was way ahead of its time. Now it's obviously outdated, but back then it was crazy. Samsung has so many hidden features on their phones that they don't really talk about. I think they should do a little bit better with advertising because a lot of people don't really know half of Samsung's features. And if they did, they would probably buy a Samsung. Linux's CJ7 asks, when hi, oof. When, how, or why did you start recording your work? Uh, I actually started it because of the pandemic. I wasn't bringing people into my office because I couldn't, it was illegal. We had to do curbside pickup and drop off only. So because of that, I was like, let's just record my stuff. Honestly, I saw a bunch of Gary Vee videos. I don't know if you guys know who that is. And he was like pushing TikTok like crazy. And I was like, why not? I have nothing else to do. Let's make it happen. And then from there, I started posting on YouTube and here we are. If you're ever fixing a Samsung, beware of these cables. They're super annoying. You have to put it in through the seam and then under the board. A few moments later. Reinstall the front camera. <laughs> that was supposed to be smooth. 2K Murdy asks, what is the hardest device you've ever had to fix? Uh, honestly, this may come as a surprise to you guys, but I'd say the iPod 4 is one of the hardest devices to fix. Sounds kind of ridiculous, but they're really hard. I don't know what it is. It was not made to be repaired. Joey W asks, when was your worst Karen? Don't forget the crunch. I've never run into a Karen. I don't, I don't know if I'm extremely lucky, but I've never seen a Karen. I've never met one in real life and uh, I don't plan on it. I have a Karen radar in my office. So if a Karen comes, it goes off and I kick them out. That's just how it works. Joseph asks, how was your first time getting into a phone? Did you break it? Were you scared? Is it something to be scared about? Yeah, I was really scared. Like it was, it was interesting and I was excited, but I was definitely really scared because I didn't know what to expect. I've never fixed a phone before. It was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie, but you just kinda gotta do it, go through with it. It takes a lot longer than you think. Just uh, don't panic. Isabella asks, how much training do you need to do this job? <clears throat> I didn't get any training. Uh, YouTube was my training. There's no schools to do this kind of stuff as far as I know. It's kind of something you have to teach yourself. Anyway guys, that is all for today. We got this S9 fixed. Uh, I don't recommend you guys DIY the S9 or any Samsung phone, to be honest. It's not worth it. You could break a lot like me, break the back glass, whatever. But yeah, thank you guys for all your questions. I'll be answering some more in an upcoming video. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.